Hey everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Brittany and this channel is dedicated to my life as a travel ICU RN. So if you are interested in following along, please hit the subscribe button um, real quick and do a quick introduction about what this page will be about and I am also going to be uploading my first vlog. Um, I've been doing a lot of sightseeing lately and decided to document it and kind of show people what the area I'm in has to offer. So um, I'm actually 30 years old. I've been a nurse for six years. Uh, I decided to travel nurse about a year ago and before that I was actually uh, working in the States for two years because my hometown is actually a border city um, to the United States. Um, and so yeah, so traveling has always been a passion of mine. Um, it's something that I've always had a drive to get to. I've had a little bit of setbacks in my life, but that's okay because I am here now. And um, I also want to incorporate in this video kind of just things that I love about life and hopefully can connect with people who love the same things that, as I do. Um, I've loved watching YouTube for like the past few years. I've been wanting to do this channel for so long and I felt like now is the perfect opportunity um, because I am really starting to take advantage of being on assignments. I feel like I'm comfortable in um, what's required of me being a travel nurse now. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to be showing you my first ever vlog of one of the trips I took with a girlfriend who is also doing a contract down here in Arizona. And if you like my content, awesome, please subscribe. Um, there'll be more to come and if you have any questions or would like to see anything um kind of like any questions about how really i live my life and like what i do please leave a comment and i will do my best to answer everybody's questions and also um i hope you like it here we go hi our first vlog <laughs> our very first vlog i'm excited i think it's gonna be great we are going to antelope canyon and the grand canyon yeah and this bitch has not slept no i have not slept so she's gonna be sleeping the entire ride that's okay i'll be so i'll be well rested for like we have a four hour drive so i'll have lots of time to sleep all right, so here we go. We'll see you when we get there. I don't know if wearing makeup for a hiking trip was a good idea, but here we are. Woo! Gonna sweat it all off. Can't wait. Yeah. Well, in the same place and like live down the street from each other. We should just make. We should make a commune. And that's that. What is it called? We should get a moat. Oh my god. You know what moat? I, I know what a moat is. Okay. Oh my god. I want. I want a moat. I want a farm. Okay, well, can I have a moat and then you can have a farm? And then we can have a bridge? And then we can have a bridge. <laughs> Walk over there. You shall not pass. <laughs> oh my god. That was a great said that. It's 98 degrees outside. So that kind of, kind of tells you that. I'm mad about it. It's going to get very hot today. Um, so when you're here, it's obviously very important to stay hydrated. Make sure you keep up on your electrolytes. And a half now. And time. how funny is this, guys? Okay, so listen. We just became friends a few months ago, but have like crossed paths for like the last ten years, mm -hmm. so and have never linked. Yeah, come from the same city, went to the same high school, have the same personal trainer. Shout same out to Jeremy. We love you, Jer. Getting uh, our steps in. Yeah, no. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are idiots. I hope, you, I, gym. I hope he watches this. I know, me too. I have to um, wee. Wee? I have to pee. Like, I have to go wee wee. You know? Do you go cock up your pee shit? No, I gotta pee. I gotta pee, shit. pee so bad because that water he chugged right before we started driving. We gotta get something to eat. I'm These are the most important things living here. Yes. This is a two, mm. what, liter? I lost my straw, eh? Do you mind? I don't know. Yeah, I know. It's like popping it like back. I don't know. I can't seem to. Can't put a price on your bottle of water. Actually, this was only $14, so I can't really. <laughs> Steal! <laughs> Steal! We're all about uh, conserving our money over here, you know? Travel nurses, as much as people say they make a lot of money, you also spend it very quick because you, on your stretches, you are always doing, you're always 
A, shopping, B, going on trips. And you know. And C, eating. luxury. Eating, well, yeah, me and you especially. <laughs> <laughs> we both we love designer stuff. I like, we just both like the finer things in life, really. I mean, Simply I think just, we work hard for it. I think we deserve it. That's, yes. a, that's a big thing. Like, if you, yes. if you work hard and like that's, what you like your goal is yes i agree like we're not by any means like yeah. putting ourselves in debt over it that's a big thing like when it and comes what to people designer, need to also understand what i'm trying to say here get experience before get you experience. travel this is not a career where you can just go to school and go travel right after no, you need to know what it's, you're doing yeah it's a huge disservice to yourself but also to the hospitals that you end up contracting for when you don't know what you're doing yes you have to have a strong sense of practice to yeah. do this Oh, they have Sally Beauty over here? I did not know that. I thought that was a Canadian, uh... Oh my goodness, I gotta pee! Real bad. Come on, people. What exactly are you doing right now? I'm getting gas. Oh. Because it's only, uh, it's oh. 4.57. Gas, buddy. It's your friend. Oh my gosh. We will... I cannot believe that we're vlogging. Back. This is so funny to me. I can't wait to for actually the feedback see it. and who's gonna so watch fun. this. <laughs> Oh, I it's going to be hilarious. I can't be my true self because I'm worried about who's going to watch this. <laughs> Actually, being your true self is the most important. Thing. You guys all know I'm funny. So, it's just, it's Are it's, you well? You'll learn. It's it's going to learn today. It's going to it's going to pro progressively get more interesting as the day goes on. Okay. Well, we will see you when we get to Horseshoe Bend. Bye. Keep me We haven't gone anywhere. We haven't left the car. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Felicia, I see them. Where? Oh. Oh, perfect. Great. <laughs> uh, those are very expensive. Okay, you ready? You ready? So we're gonna go get something to eat before we go. Oh, uh, we just we see this cute little uh, restaurant we're gonna sit at. God, um, I don't know if I can eat. She took a little bit of a nap. Was it enough? Yes. It was, yes, I feel great. I needed that. I okay, need we're gonna water, go though. eat. I'm dehydrated, I can tell. And then to go to the place. We have about an hour to kill. We were gonna do Horseshoe Bend first, but we drove by it and it's like peak day. It's like 12 o'clock, sun's high in the sky. We don't wanna get too hot before we actually start the tour. So we're gonna actually do it after. I think it'll be nicer too with the sunset. Yeah, I get a better do. lighting. I think we'll like it better, especially after. I don't yeah. want to get too tired before. Yeah. Realistically, it's the heat that we got to be careful with, right? Because it's the desert and it gets over 100 degrees here, and we like heat strokes a real thing, especially when you don't live here. It's not a good thing. But okay, we're gonna go eat and check back in a minute. We got our backpacks all set. We stopped at this like really cute espresso bar. Espresso bar and got something to eat. So funny story. So time change is actually not a real thing. So I don't know if you guys know this, but Arizona does not uh, do daylight savings. So we are actually so close to the Arizona Utah border that the clocks on our phones and my Jeep switched to Utah time. Yeah. But we're actually on Arizona time still, so we're actually, we got here 
oh, two hours sure. earlier than when we were supposed to, but still it's too hot to go to Horseshoe Bend. So now we're just gonna kind of drive around this tiny little town. It's called Page. Um, we're just gonna check it out. We grabbed. It's extremely hot here. Yeah, it's warm. It's very like it's like almost unbearable. Yeah, we're so gonna. So this is gonna be an interesting hike, but I'm looking really looking forward to it. We're going to kind of stay in the shade as much as we can, and then obviously when we get out there. We um, got electrolyte tablets, put that in our water. Yeah, we bought Camelbacks, and if you guys are interested, they're about the ones we got. We got the Mule Camelbacks, let small me, enough. Let me provide a uh, example she, here for you. She got a black one, and I got a blue one, and so they carry about three liters of water. You can get Camelbacks that carry anything. And then if you anything. per 16 ounces, you need one tablet, so. Or, yeah, so. Uh, I put four in mine. She you dehydrate a lot quicker out here in the desert than normal. Like you don't even feel it. So yeah. we got three liters each, and plus it's got space for extra, our extra stuff like our phones and whatever clips. And but, oh, we yeah, should bring we some bought. Lotion. We bought three liter jugs of water each. Poured them in. Alkaline water. pH balanced. Mm -hmm. I don't really think it's not gonna matter when it's fucking 100 degrees outside and. <laughs> <laughs> Any kind of water would do. <laughs> okay. oh, this cute little chocolate shake. Oh my god, it's the best. This is the ever. company. It's so good. It's so stinking cute. I don't know if you can so see it. Good. I got the oh, okay, ice caramel macchiato. It has three shots of espresso. Girl in needs here. to be caffeinated. This one does, anyways. Uh, yes. She's running on like two hours of sleep. I'm running on two hours of sleep. I was up all night. Stretching. Stretching under legs. Three o'clock in the morning. My legs hurt, okay? Gotta get that I think yoga I, in. I'm having issues lately with my legs. I don't know. <laughs> Your body. My body in general. I haven't been well. I should start doing yoga. So yeah, we're just gonna drive around the city. This ta city. Town. Like, population of town. 100. We're gonna drive around the town. Yeah, and just kind of check it out and then go to our destination and kind of wait all the while staying in the shade and the air conditioning until we obviously get out there because it is very warm. There's a lot of tourists here as well, to know. Yeah, yeah it's very, very touristy. Very, people from all over the world. It's very cool. I'm interested to see who we are going to be on our hike with. I know, I'm super who excited. Who we're going to meet and... So, um, this tour actually is on a reservation that you have to get permission to, to come on. And they are... I don't know if strict's the word I want to use, but they regulate oh, yeah, the mass. filming. I got masks. Oh, they regulate sorry, filming I... for um, the resort, like the the canyon. So I don't think I'll be able to vlog, but I will take lots of pictures and like upload them and show you. Or like if I'll I'll take a, a video of us before and after, and maybe like a small video while we're in there just to see. But I really just want to respect their their boundaries, and I don't want to post stuff that they otherwise want to keep. You know for the experience, for people to come and experience it. But I mean, I'll post what I can. But yeah, otherwise we're just gonna chill until then. We've got an hour to, yeah. to kill. Um, yeah, so probably just gonna go to the place with some sunscreen on, probably oh, meet other people that we're gonna be going on this hike with. I wonder how many people it's probably gonna be. Probably gonna be a small tour just because oh, like, there's our like Brittany said. Bus. So like Brittany said, um, this is like a very hard thing to get a permit for. Some people. It's not very hard. It's just very like. Well, it's hard to find a date. So obviously you can go by it yourself. It took me forever to get two yes. tickets two at the tickets. same time yes. for That's a day we both had off of work where we could drive yeah. up here and drive home in a timely manner without affecting our jobs. But so. I think it's important to note that we are staying overnight. Yeah, I would recommend like, definitely staying overnight if you. Um, I mean, if you're okay with driving, hey, like, to each their own, but... Yeah. It's two hours from Flagstaff and four hours from Phoenix, so we're just yeah. gonna kind of get the bang for our buck. We're gonna go uh, stay in Flagstaff tonight. We got a nice, cute little hotel room and just cozy up pool. tonight. Go to, yeah, go in the pool, go in the jacuzzi. We're gonna need chill. it. <laughs> yeah. I feel like so, today's gonna be quite an exertional day. Yeah. So we're gonna need, the, like, R&R &R yeah. tonight. And then we'll drive home early tomorrow because this... This girl has to work tomorrow night. Yeah, I'm on my, I start my three days, or two or three days stretch. No, I'm going to Phoenix this weekend, so. It's so a two you days are? stretch. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I gotta work all weekend, so. I am staying with a friend in Phoenix. 
thought I was her only friend. Well, so this hurts my heart. Okay. Just kidding. Just kidding, friends. Exposing myself to the world here. It's all right. <laughs> we found a little bit of shade to kind of hang out in, but we are at the Glen Canyon Dam, and I'll show you. It is absolutely breathtaking. I feel like you just gotta come in person to see it. It's truly it's incredible. That's the bridge that we came across. We actually found a really cool scenic place to yeah. view. Do you see the all seeing eye right there? Which one? Right there. That looks like an evil eye. Well, yeah, the evil eye. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. Christ, you are me, man. I'm dehydrated. And this is just a part of the Grand Canyon. hut that we were sitting in it's definitely beautiful the water is so clear in the canyon yeah. it was really warm or it was yeah. really cool it was actually a lot more shade than we anticipated but we yeah. also got a little bit of overcast which was gonna be perfect for when we go see horseshoe bend but it was like the photos we got are just phenomenal definitely portrait frame them worth I love that one of the Instagram worthy oh yeah so now we're gonna go so we had an awesome bend. tour guide as well or horseshoe bend oh my god he was so great really good at taking photos too Definitely recommend. We're at Horseshoe Bend. Ooh, zoomed. Oh, zoomed? Zoomed. Oh, no, we're zoomed. There we go. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a storm's coming in, but. Perfect, it's not too hot. No, it's legitimately perfect. Because we've had quite a warm we've day. Quite a day. But it's been worth it. Honestly, one of the best days. In a I've while. Had. And I was just telling Felicia, this makes me so happy because. My Lord of the Rings virtual tour, this is just adding miles to my challenge. So I'm doing something so exciting and so monumental like, and still yeah. I'm gonna get my medal that much faster. So excited. So yeah. I'm just gonna I'm burn some calories. What you need a calorie. And then we're gonna feast later. We're gonna go have dinner and we should go to like a, a nice seafood yeah. spot. Oh my god, I'm about it. Definitely love a good seafood place. Yeah, so I want like a nice like Like, I, I haven't had like, a lobster in a long time. I haven't had a lobster. <laughs> I haven't had a lobster in a while. I'm trying to dine over here, okay? Like, I'm trying to Shit, we deserve it. It's been a great day. It's been such and a solid day. 
couldn't have picked anyone better to do this. I know, I love you so much. We literally had the best conversation on the way back, just about how... Had a little mishap with my camelback, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. But, for the most part... Everybody, we are alive and well. We ended up not vlogging yesterday. We were just like <laughs> so tired. Yeah, we drove two oh hours God. back um, from uh, to Flagstaff from Page, got our hotel room, had to shower quick because we made reservations at a restaurant to eat dinner, and then had the most amazing <laughs> dinner. dinner experience. So I'm like a foodie. I am always in charge of um, finding the restaurants. the restaurants when we go. I do the excursions and the hotels. I'm not she very does good at planning trips. <laughs> she does the food. But it was like exceptional. I like everything from the food to it got dark because I walked away from the window. Oh. Everything from like the food, the service, the ambiance of the place, everything was just fantastic. I mean, we ordered um, the brie plate to start and then we got well, mussels tell them, tell them and the then, the what? Tell them the name of the restaurant. Yeah, we got the mussels and then she got duck and I got trout. And then we were, we were finished but we had eaten so at this cool. restaurant um, a few weeks ago and had ordered churros for dessert. So we're, we've been talking about churros for a while. And so I was just curious to know what the um, dessert menu was. So I asked the waitress. And the first thing she said was churros. So we were sold. We were just like, we tried it. So we ended up ordering chocolate churros with banana ice cream. Oh my God. It was the perfect ending to a perfect day. <laughs> Like, it really was. and the staff and was so nice, there. and like, so there was like, here, I'll, my hat look a little wild right now. And but. then, so the restaurant's called Tinderbox. In case you're ever in Flagstaff, highly, highly, highly recommend for an awesome, like, food experience, ambiance. Like, we we dressed up, like, we uh, we both wore heels and like cute little outfits, didn't get any pictures of us at all. We were just like, so, so in the experience and not even thinking about what we were so looking like. I take pictures of my food pretty much anywhere I go. I didn't take a single photo, so that should tell you how good the food was. And just the experience in general, like we had these drinks. These that were non-alcoholic, but it tasted like, it gave you like that essence of alcohol. Like it was very, it was such a mixed cocktail, yeah. but it was so <laughs> like, freaking good. Apple juice, a bunch of couple, a couple different juices in this like dis, dis, dis I mean, it's not even distilled. I don't even know I don't what know it was, what it but was. I took a picture of it, so I'll uh, I'll link it down below if, if you guys are interested. But um, it was awesome. yeah, so then we came back to the room and literally crashed. <laughs> I was got bad. into our PJs, crawled into bed, and got crashed. into our silkies. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. We both uh, I was we exhausted. brought the same our matching pajamas. Not even like planning that. It was just so funny. We should have got a picture of that. That would have been funny. That would have been really funny. But, but yeah, I was running on two hours of sleep, and I have to say, yeah. with two hours of sleep, yesterday was probably one of like it was just such a it was just all around such a good day. Yeah. Like, Given that she was tired and running on fumes, like, she did pretty good. I mean, she slept on the ride, which was totally fine. Yeah. She had a good night's sleep last night. Oh my god, I at least yeah. slept six hours, seven hours last night. Yeah, so now oh, it's, oh. what time is it? It's gotta be like 6.45. We're gonna go get some snacks. Yeah, we were gonna grab breakfast here because this hotel does offer um, free breakfast, but Definitely recommend I don't drink, as well. nice. I don't drink coffee, so um, they didn't have decaf coffee, so we're just gonna stop at Starbucks and get, oh, this lighting is bomb. We're gonna get, <laughs> um, we're gonna go get Starbucks and hit the road. We gotta be back into Phoenix at a decent time, so 
Felicia's got work tonight. Yeah, back to work tonight. Back to reality. Actually, this is our reality, so I can't really say anything about that. <laughs> We're living the best life. Yeah, we, we, we work three days a week and travel the rest. I can't say that I have anything to not be grateful for. It's been super awesome grateful to have this experience to be able to, to work, and work our careers and, and see the world at the same time. And meet really, really, really awesome, awesome people. Oh, yeah. Like, so many new friends made, just connections. No room to be shy in this career, especially no. when you're traveling. Meet as many people as you can and just experience everything you can possibly experience. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to go grab Starbucks, um, catch up with you while we're on the road. Back. Um, it's actually later on in the day. We got back to Phoenix this morning about 10 a.m. Got home. I took a nap that ended up being like four hours, but I knew that I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about um, the equipment that I, well, I and Felicia both uh, used for our hike and the mishap I actually had with my backpack. And I wanted to get on here and talk about it because I actually contacted the company and I'm going to return it, which I'm super, super grateful for because it was not a cheap purchase. So, um, first things first, I want to get started on what happened. So, it's dusty because it's used, but this is the backpack um, that I purchased for hiking here in Arizona or wherever you are you can use this backpack but what's so special about this is that it actually has a three liter bladder inside which you can fill with water to help hydrate you on your hike and it also has this uh, tube spout whatever so that you can drink without actually having to to like carry a water bottle or anything like that and it carries up to three liters so this is the Camelback Mule brand and um, so yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's got awesome support for like your chest, your waist. It's small, compact. It's just enough space that you can fit all of your stuff in, like your wallet, your anything important like snacks without being too heavy. That's the thing. It's not, it's not very heavy. And I chose three liters because I personally dehydrate so much quicker than normal people and i thought that it would be like the best option for myself to have that much that much fluid on board so the issue i did have with this though was i filled it up and it wouldn't stop leaking and i don't know why and i took the bladder out so these bladders actually come out of these backpacks just like this so i have disconnected it already but you unscrew it here fill it with water and then the spout uh, attaches down here and it comes out the top and then it comes around and you can drink it and then it also magnetizes to your chest so that it's easily accessible so yeah i filled it with three liters of water yesterday and it would not stop leaking and it was so uncomfortable because just as we started our hike into antelope canyon it just like poured out and i was soaking wet for the entire hike i was like so upset so disappointed and not to mention the stuff that was in my backpack actually got wet too. The stuff that was sitting at the bottom. So like my wallet soaked. Um, I was like soaked. It felt like I had jumped in a pool and gotten out and walked in the sand. I was covered in sand. So like you know how sand like sticks to things when it's wet. So I was completely soaked. It was just like a really awful experience. But I'm very very grateful for the company that I bought it from to be receptive and like allowing me to return it. Um, because obviously it's like defective in some way, but yeah, so that I do do highly recommend them. And I did ask, um, one of the salespeople at the, at the place, if this is a common defect with them. And he said, no, he said, he's never heard of anything like that happening, but obviously for mine, it did. So, and if anyone's interested in getting one of these, I really, really highly recommend it, especially like a three liter one, just like I prefer to have more fluid, but it was like $120, so definitely like something I really want to get the bang out of my buck and that is just not what I experienced. So yeah, they're definitely going to let me return it. I'm super grateful for that. So I just want to come on here and talk about this real quick before I, before I go on and do that. I also wanted to talk about other like necessities that I found were really helpful with our hike, especially being in like over 100 degree weather, was these... Um, merino wool socks these are these light merino wool socks they are perfect like they make my 
they kept my feet dry the entire time and when i took these off this was soaking wet like i was just like it was gross but so worth it to get them they were only like eight dollars to get them but so so worth it so if you're planning on going on hikes definitely get merino wool socks these ones are the light ones because my feet sweat and i don't like that feeling but also get the higher ankle one especially if you have higher boots because obviously the ankle on your boot will rub also wanted to come on here real quick and show you the hiking boots that i purchased funny story about this too um i'm actually a size seven foot but i found out that you actually are supposed to have at least a finger width between your toe and the front of your boot in hiking boots so these are actually an eight and a half which i was like super super surprised when the guy measured me for them because i originally bought a size six and a half hiking boot and then ended up having to go back and purchase these um, I personally like the higher ankle because it gives me more ankle support and I had like these were perfect These were perfect for our hike. Sorry. I just heard something. That was really weird um, Love the color. I actually want to go with like a neutral, but I really enjoyed the white. I don't I didn't mind it Like it's dusty, but it still looks they still look cute and stylish at the same time very functional got has good treads um i believe these ones are waterproof these are the solomon brand ones um and the coloring is really nice as well um it's like got mesh on there so it helps your foot breathe and like i said the high ankle it did not come with these shoelaces it came with um thinner shoelaces that were actually this color but i just like a thicker shoelace that really gives me the feel that my foot's in the shoe so um yeah definitely um when you're doing hikes footwear is a must i think i went on one hike up in sedona with felicia and i wore a different shoe and by the end of it my feet were killing me first of all they were a size seven and i found out that your feet actually do swell when you hike so you gotta give them a little bit of room to expand otherwise they're gonna be really uncomfortable that finger width is for like when you're going up and down um, hills, you need to be able to like your foot needs to be able to slide forward and back um, without like damaging your foot. But overall, highly, highly recommend these shoes. I love them. They're like very flexible, not too heavy. That was another thing that was a big deal. And definitely, definitely get sized appropriately for your hiking shoes. That was something that like I obviously didn't do. And when I went to this one local place, they sized me for it, and I'm so glad that they, they did because that was a game changer for me. So yeah, hiking boots, wool socks, and a camelback. Okay. All right, well now I'm gonna go and return that and I will see you guys soon.